I mean, I have an extra life. So I think I should be able to kill this guy. Hopefully, let's go. Let's go. Doesn't... I think I can do this. Extend one more and then go down. Another grove. Grove? Okay, I didn't lose any equipment, that's good. Thicket. Summon quality region. No. I have 162 attack speed. This is definitely better. Skeleton level evasion. 11% evasion. Okay, let's not put down any more cards until after this loop. Or do I want to summon this right now? Maybe. No, but no, 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 not right now because I I have the chance of uh, I have the chance of like getting better equipment, and then like it doesn't really matter like I'm, like putting down cards after I summon him because it'll work towards the final boss counter anyways. Attack speed, evasion, those can just not, not really. Attack speed, evasion, and skeleton level. Okay, I can summon right now. Um, village, vampire mansion, swamp, level 9. Summon quality. Let's replace this and then I'm gonna look for a good summon quality necklace. None of these are summon quality. No. Thicket. No. Uh, thicket. Suburb. Suburb and suburb. Skeleton level necklace. Here's a summon quality necklace. River. Blood Grove. River. Okay. Summon quality. This thing has summon quality. I think with the laying down the life, laying down one's life, I don't really need summon quality. If I have regen, a little bit of regen and um, skeleton level, a bunch of skeleton level, then that should be good. River. Suburb. River, Oblivion, I can put a thicket there. Okay, let's exchange. Not really. Okay, I have a thicket. Let's put a thicket there. Another thicket. Suburb. Uh, Grove. Sure. River. Thicket. River. Level 7. Okay. Well, here it goes. 
third boss. That was actually not that bad. Ambitions of the Dead. Let's go with... I'm gonna go with Shield of Faith. Wow, okay. Well, there goes the third boss. There goes the third boss. Alright, this fourth boss is gonna be here soon. Let's pause after this. Let's see. Where do I oblivion? Let's go here. Then I can possibly put something there. Okay, suburbs. Another blood grove. That was very good. Skeleton level, region, evasion, put this on. Two hundred and two attack speed. Yep, that seems a little bit better. Why can't I oh I can. I I, I thought oh, okay, I think I grabbed a village instead. I should stop putting in more suburbs. This area should be left to the uh, should be left for my for more trees. Another thicket, another river. My world is in agony. The cosmos is being burned out by the flames of emptiness, and we are left with nothing but ashes in our hands. And is a vampire maddened by its thirst? Madness, it's, it obviously is. Even our memories were stolen. Why do you think we were allowed to keep our minds? But even the thirst fades from what uh, I have discovered. Books filled with knowledge have shown me all that we have lost. This pitiful shack that we call our world is not even a shadow of what the world has. There are still books containing knowledge of this world? Please tell me where I can find them. Memories are very important right now, as is any information at all. Very important, I agree. Knowledge can help you find the path through the laws of the universe. That's what we call magic. I can clearly see your place in this chaos. Do you know why everyone around you is trying so hard to kill you? The natural order of things, I guess. Hunger, fear, and despair. It's quite enough fo a fodder for blind fury. Everything wrong tells us that you have to die. Existence itself tells us this. It screams in fear every time you take a step, a new step, or draw a new breath. I won't let you exist any longer. It's all due respect, I don't need anyone's permission to exist. Okay, so you get the uh, Vampire Mage um, by killing, uh, by emptying the bookery and then having a uh, Vampire Mansion in, in the range of the bookery. Um, and then you, and then instead of getting the Vampire, you get the Vampire Mage. What's all this nonsense about the world and my death? There are already too many problems to start coming up with new ones. Magical ways of knowing about the past and the future are often fake. It's no surprise so many mages go insane. Especially now when going insane doesn't take too much effort at all. 
Um, okay, we have a a ring here. I mean, summoning six skeletons is very tempting, especially with all this uh, attack speed that I have. Abandoned bookery. Your greedy, stealth-free ancient tomes that now search for skilled sorcerers. Adds tomes to battles on adjacent tiles. Oh, last time the books were standing on their shelves. What ha what's happening now? That doesn't look even remotely like writing. Do you have any text in human or proto vampiric languages at least? I get it, I get it. Let's forget about this mistake and start on a new page. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. It's showing that he's gonna kill me. Looks like now I have to be constantly ready for a trick. Who knows, next time I could be attacked by my own sword. Okay, so the, now the abandoned bookery is all surrounding. Okay. Okay, here's a river. Ticket. Ticket. Very close. Very close here. Another river. Another village. Okay, this is better than what I have. Summon quality. Okay, final river. Maybe this is gonna be my final loop. I think so. Okay, two oblivions. Oblivion here. Uh, again. Let's put down the blood grove. Blood grove goes down. Take it. Summon quality, another village, another thicket. That's a lot of cards. Mm, that's better. Uh, summon quality. Mm. No. Okay. Oblivion. Summon quality and a little bit of skeleton level. Summon quality. No. Uh, no. There it is. Okay, thick hit. Oh, almost there. Oh, I think it's because I I was like I was wondering why I was taking damage. Uh, because I was actually attacking because I summoned all of my skeletons <laughs> too fast. Summon quality. No, that's bad. Not really. Okay. Well. Just have to deal with these guys here. Okay, got a level up before I go in. Guess maybe. 
I mean, bottomless bottle and uh, this residual heat, it, they're both uh, healing items. Let's go. Let's go this residual heat here. I mean, I have an extra life, so I think I should be able to kill this guy. Hopefully, let's go. Let's go. Fingers crossed. I can't believe it. Are you really God? The one that created everything? Yes and no. Once upon a time, my transformation started here. Hear me out. Wait, you want to explain everything before you kill me? Exterminate is not the same. Although for consciousness and personality created by it, there's not much of a difference, I guess. I don't want just to explain, but to be explained, there's no actual sense in it. But maybe you'll help me understand something that you, that I can't. I will listen closely. I was Alpha, the beginning and creator of all. I created everything because I was a god of creation, a life in all of its variety and relativity I liked the most. And you, humans were my favorite among all living beings. I've adopted the form of a human and manifested myself to humans in countless worlds to look at my creation and to feel joy from it. But I, it was here in the heart of the world filled with different creatures teeming with life and struggle where I was met not as a creator but, a, but as a threat. A man covered his fam family uh, from my light as if it was searing flame. He had a spear in his hand, and he tried to kill me. The spear didn't do me any harm. It was still just the atom I created, scattered and reorganized. The matter I created poses me no threat. You travel through space and hit not my body, but emptiness, but that impulse. I was more uh, surprised than ever before. I was puzzled. The man the magnificence of that moment, the, def the defiance of your creator, the will to live and to keep living, a small triumph of our life, completely independent of me, so pure and self-sustained, going against the will of its creator. Only a small moment of this excitement, and I let this, this spear pierce my chest. I died, and I didn't die. At the center of all creation, a new me was born. New and internal, I was striving not to create, but to return everything to nothingness, as it was before. A desire burned from the denial of my old intention. Pointless creation was replaced by pointless destruction. <laughs> you allowed yourself to be killed? But why? I think it was out of co compassion. I wish to give my killer what he desired. But why won't you show compassion now? What's the point of complete emptiness, of non-existence? Leave at least some of it to us, to survivors. You were created, so you won't be able to understand why does it, why does existence and being have and being having uh, have any meaning for you? Why is emptiness not perfect for you? I'm obs I'm obsessed with the idea of reducing everything to nothing. The absence of existence seems absolutely right to me. It's ideal. I can't agree with you. Your servants couldn't destroy this place. That means that I have a chance, even if this is all that's left to protect. You're not him, although you are closer to him than anyone else. That's why you're still here. You're the closest relative of you're the closest relative of the man who was holding that spear all those ages ago. You're just a tiny bit of the memory of my birth, a display of sentimental, of sentimentality that I've acquired along with the human form, a deeply personal little piece of world that I want to destroy with my own hands. Knowingly or not, I guarded you against my own dis disciples. That's how you survived. I'm actually interested in what may become of all of this. Be brave, I will give you a chance to defend your world, because that world because that would be right. I shall protect the right of this world to live. Look at me and you'll see no doubt in my heart. 
Okay, let's see what does this. What does this god have to? Uh, destroys all cards and items at the start of battle. Every <laughs> all cards and items at the start of battle. What? All cards and items. Every third attack erases one item and one of the hero's stats. One of the hero's stats from existence. There's... How? How do you beat him? That is so dumb. Like if he 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 can just negate my max skeletons. But I think because of this, because of laying down one's life and also the residual heat, I'm able to survive. Yes! Is that it? Hopefully it's, there's no second phase. It finally happened. I wasn't wrong. I didn't overestimate your importance for my existence and for my death. I'm afraid that you actually were wrong and you did overestimate it. Oh, well, why is she here? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, okay, I jinxed it. There's a, a second phase. Hello again, boy. Let me introduce myself once more. My name is Yota, and I am probability itself. I'm a goddess of all the unimportant events that tie together to allow the universe to continue spinning. A rustle of a branch causing an avalanche, a small rock that starts an earthquake. And now also a goddess of dramatic entrances, I guess. <laughs> okay, is she good or bad? Yoda? I don't know you. I didn't create you in any of my incarnations. Probabilities, chances, where did you come from? I've always existed, just as yourself have. Like many others that we still don't know anything about. The world is ridiculously big. I liked the creation of your last incarnation. I didn't want it to disappear completely, but I can't confront you head on. So what's the probability that something capable of defeating you exists in this world? How tiny is that chance? Doesn't matter, I've decided that probability still exists, and here he is. A small man made from flesh, blood, a bit of luck, and some play of circumstances, standing before you. You've been helping me. You've been helping me all this time, so this battle and its results were inevitable. I've helped you in no more than you've helped me. I'm a goddess of probability, not in not inevitability. Inevitability. Don't estimate the importance of this moment. There exists a un, uh, there exists an uncountable number of probabilities where you have been defeated, where you've died on your loop to pass or were killed by one of his disciples, disciples or just decided to give up and face the end of the world. 
and those probabilities have existed, of course. Um, I guess that's a great way to tie in the mechanic of the uh, roguelite. Um, so that's pretty neat. All these probabilities and, re and realities are still doomed to happen. Okay, I won't pretend that I understand all of it. I need some time to digest all this. But Omega Alpha is here now. Can you uh, can you restore everything? Return to what it was? Yes, I can, but I won't. I shall create a world anew. It will take millennia. At the center of the new world, I will be dying and be born again, and only then. I'm sorry, your victory stopped me, but it didn't. It didn't change my intentions. You did well, but the world is going to remain empty and it's going to be like this for a very long time. No, don't do not apologize. I wasn't hoping that it would be this easy. And I'm not going to wait till everything goes back to how it was. Maybe it be maybe it will take you thousands of years to come back here. But I promise you, when you do, you will find a new magnificent a new magnificent world built by humans. And if not, if humans aren't able to do it, then we shouldn't have existed in the first place. So be a human. Someday we shall be meet again and remember this moment. It won't be you though, but your descendant, who is as close to you as nobody else, he will recognize me. Remember our talk? I would still be grateful for your existence, and I would be glad to offer you mine. Nothing has changed, there is still a lot of work that can be done only by our combined effort. I can guide you to the probabilities where you are already dead. You can save them. The, uh, they are they are countless. They are countless, of course. Too many for your life. Uh, too many for your lifetime to last long enough to save them. But I, for myself, think that such tasks are much more interesting to solve. You can return to your new home. I'm not asking for an answer right away. This world, one, oh, this world owes everything to you now. But don't forget that you owe it everything too. Farewell. My God, that last one, that fight was so stressful. Good thing, man. Good thing I took the healing card, the healing attribute. Treasure Hunter. Let's go with the resource assortment. And uh, let's retreat. Okay, well, there is the credits, there is the game, so yeah, very nice, very nice. Um, what I think about this game is it's very fun, and the story, like the ending there was really intriguing and uh, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, uh, I think... I think... Well, I will continue to play Loop Hero though. Um, try out new combinations, unlock new things. Maybe I'll try to unlock a little bit more lore and try to uh, use the lore stuff. Um, maybe do a video on the, all of the lores that are of the cards, of the monsters, of the materials. Um, there, um, there's a lore on the the land, the cards themselves. So there's is this like I haven't unlocked that. I think that's the uh, Smith Forge, the Forge card. Uh, I still have to unlock. There are a bunch of things that still need to be done. So yeah, um. Pretty nice. 
um, maybe I can try later on to be to try to beat the uh, final boss there with. Uh, I'm gonna try to beat it with other the other classes, rogue and warrior, but those will definitely be a lot harder than the uh, than the. Uh, the necromancer because uh <laughs> well the necromancer doesn't like has all these attackers attacking at the same time right but like the rogue doesn't really the the rogue and warrior they <laughs> like with no items um so I thought like deleting items I thought he actually deletes the item from your uh from like the, your equipped items but I didn't like I guess the wording still needs a little bit more clarification the, it's supposed to be delete all your cards and all your uh unequipped items and then your equipped items will so the skill would be like something like the equipped items will get temporarily disabled uh, every third uh, per every third hit and so a uh, one equipped item and three different stats will get randomly uh, three random stats and one random equipment will get disabled every third hit. That should be how it's supposed to be awarded. Because right now it's just very confusing with the... Oh. Wait. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like, th so the wording on that is very confusing. I thought I would be losing all my items and then Without skeletons, oh, there's no way of killing the boss, right? Uh, without equipment, there's no way. It's all good equipment, at least. The hero is back. The coin I tossed landed on the right side. Do I get the credit or do you? Does it matter? A chance of coincidence has no meaning if even a single link is missing. Tell me, why were you pretending to be human all this time? Was it really necessary? Yes, I needed to focus my influence on this small area, on lit one little man. When I change appearance, I don't simply put a mask on. Um, I don't simply put on a mask to pretend that I'm someone else. Gods think on different levels and different planes than everyone else. Everything seems primitive, unimportant, weak. I'm nearly, I'm nearly dying of boredom trying to keep this conversation going. In a land of blind and deaf men, you must deprive yourself of, of sight and hearing to understand the locals, right? That's how I did it. That's how I believe in you, in humans. That's how I, show, I can show compassion and help. I think that's what happened to Alpha. Being, being a human made him compassionate, and he let himself be killed. Being a human made Omega sentimental, and you see what happened. I feel that this is the first time to make a very important conclusion, so... Nope, I have nothing. I just uh, don't know what to say. You really think I should try to beat Omega in other chances? Who knows, I myself don't know. But if you would like to try, you won't have to ask me twice. Okay, so... Maybe we'll try to beat Omega again. Let's see, where is Smithy? 29 out of 40. Yeah, this is very long because you have to fight all three bosses prior to fighting the god himself. But 
um, eventually, eventually I will get there. Anyways, for now, um, I will call the video here. I will continue to uh, farm some more uh, materials. Uh, try to get as much uh, upgrades to the buildings as I can. I think I have built every single one of these. Uh, let's build another warehouse actually. Uh, because this will allow me to put in more supplies. Okay, and um, yeah, I will continue farming. I will continue uh, trying to build everything, do everything. Yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. Um, I This video is probably going to be split into two videos. So uh yeah for about what you're seeing right now is the second uh second video of the two and very nice we actually beat the final boss without actually dying i had a resurrection in like in the back pocket and i didn't actually get to use it that's very encouraging how you can just beat this whole thing um just summon skeletons, <laughs> kill them, summon more skeletons, <laughs> and and the skeletons they heal me. So that is really good. Like that was, and uh, that's all, all, all good. Um, all because of the suburbs card, and I will be using that card, like. Definitely you'd be using that card if I do this chapter 4 again. So anyways, with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this ending to Loop Hero. But of course, the, ser the series is not ending just yet. There are a bunch of things that I want, I want to try out. I want to keep on um, getting playing this game continue to experiment with different things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't, and I hope to see you in my next video. Peace.